Uh, welcome to Dream on Candles. In today's episode, we'll be discussing uh, the origin of boxers, uh, give you information on color patterns and markings, and then also uh, distinguishing between the three different bloodlines that the boxer breed has. Uh, the boxers originated in Germany around the 1800s, and eventually they ended up making their way over here to America. AKC registered them in 1904, and then they, they really didn't gain popularity until about the 1950s here in America. Uh, the differences between the three are size, or between height and weight, uh, with European boxers generally being bigger than UK boxers, they're a little bit smaller, and then you have American boxers. Boxers somewhere in the middle, more cut, uh, muscular build. The boxers out here at Dream On Kennels are actually the American. So when it comes to vocabulary, uh, you may hear me in other videos use terms such as socks, also sleeve. You might hear me say tips. Uh, tips is just talking about how much white a dog has on his paws. Um, it looks like they just been tipped at the very top of the toes. And then that's usually associated with a fawn or just a regular brindle. And then you also have what we call socks. Uh, they go up a little bit higher on the foot or cover the whole entire foot. And then if you have a lot of flash or if you have the full sock, that will go all the way up to the elbow of the dog. Other vocabulary terms that you will hear me use uh, would be cropped, docked, or uh, pin. Uh, that verb is comes when you're talking about the tails or you're talking about the ears. Um, when it comes to cropping or docking tails or ears, I believe that it's a preference. A lot of people like to clip the ears for dog shows, things of that nature. Um, me particularly, I don't like to cut the ears. I do dock the tails, but I leave the, the ears alone just because I try to stay away from the very, very aggressive look or possibly a look that another breed that looks similar to a boxer has. So to differentiate itself in our kennels, um, we keep our ears on our boxers. Here are the five boxer styles in no particular order. Number one. So let's talk about the different categories of boxers. The first category we have will be fawn. Uh, fawn means that uh, the boxer is gonna have a predominantly black mask and limited markings when it comes to white on the chest or the face or feet. Number two. So brindle actually means stripe. Um, so with a brindle boxer, you have a stripe pattern and then you can have just a brindle itself and then you can add the markings of semi-flashing and flashing, which will give it more white in the face, neck, and the paw areas. Number three. Next up, we're gonna talk about reverse brindles. Uh, reverse brindles also have stripes, but they're a darker colored uh, brindle underneath the stripes. And so another name for reverse brindles, you hear some people call them uh, dark brindles, and they have the stripes with the darker undercoat and then they also have the selection of just the plain reverse brindle, the semi, with a little bit more of the white markings in the face, chest, and socks. And then you also have flashy boxer, which will have a lot more of the white markings uh, in the chest, neck area, and the face, as well as the socks. Number four. So fourth on the list will be the white boxer. Now when it comes to the white boxer, there's not necessarily a flashy or semi-flashy that comes uh, with these markings, just for the simple fact that the dog is white already. And so the two variations of the white boxer would be what they call party color, where you have blotches over the body and face, uh, or you have check, which will have one uh, spot or blotch on the body, or the one that uh, people, people really like is the blotch that, is, that covers one of the eyes. Number five. Last on the list are the sealed boxers. Uh, there's a huge misconception that these boxes are black and that is false. Uh, when it comes to sealed boxers, uh, they are actually boxers uh, who have stripes that are so thick and so close together that you cannot see the undercolor of the dog. And because of that, it gives off a shiny coat that looks black. Um, sealed boxes also have a semi-flashy and a flashy um, coat that goes with them. And so it will look black, but it's not. But you have a well-striped boxer with limited white, or you have a well-striped boxer with a lot of white. And uh, they are beautiful dogs just as well. All right, so that'll do it. Thank you for watching. Uh, go ahead and jump in those comments for us and, and 
Tell us a couple of things about what pattern of dog you like in boxers, uh, what style you prefer, um, if you like to dock ears, if you like to dock tails, uh, what your preference is on that, and we can start a dialogue through the comments. Uh, we appreciate you joining us for another episode of Dream On Kennels. Until next time, see you later.